Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when Ruto said that he's going to defy court orders, it was a threat, but we did not thought that it can go that far to an extent whereby he can make his threat true. The fact is that Ruto is already disrespecting court orders. He is making his own decision against what the court has ordered. And in one of the latest unfolding story from uh, Kamagut in Eldoret, it has really exposed this regime so badly. They have decided for them, they will defy court orders, they will defy basic human right as long as they achieve what they want. There is a contentious of two acre piece of land in Eldoret where some individuals are claiming ownership, the other ones are claiming ownership. And on 2nd of September 2022, the court made a ruling declaring Paul Kirwa as the, and the other two as the bona fide owner of that land. Then again, in the Court of Appeal 2023, they made a similar ruling. That is the true owner of that land according to the court order and the ruling. But what happened? A time when Ruto was in an event in Eldoret, a woman reached out to William Ruto and she complained about a land, that someone is grabbing a land from her. Then Ruto all of a sudden called Oscar Sudi and he gave the instruction to Oscar Sudi. Despite the fact that there was court orders that Ruto is well aware about, the order was Oscar Sudi to lead demolition of property in that land and eviction of any person so that that woman will have that land. So as we are speaking now, Paul Kirwa has been evicted from his land, rightfully ruling from the court, declaring him as the right owner. And the man who has led this eviction is Oscar Sudi, and the order is from above. <laughs> Now we are continuing this panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. It's brother Master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. So the fact is that Ruto, through Oscar Sudi, has defied a court order. He's disrespecting the court ruling and he's Definitely defying basic human rights. Just coming to evict someone, you don't know where to go, but you have to leave. But there was no such kind of a notice that you have to leave. 
they would not notice. That's why I'm saying that he's defying basic human rights. Even if you are in a plot or a land that has, does not belong to you, you normally get notified. You are, be, you are being given a grace period, maybe a month or so, to leave. But for Kirwa, he wasn't given a notice. There was no grace period that you will have a week, you should have left this place. Hakupewa mambo kama hayo. Yeye aliamuka tu basa kaona nyumba zinabomolewa. Wanyama sasa pia hawana pa kuenda because ni mfugaji pia and there's nowhere to go. And someone else now occupying the land. That is what he has been subjected to. Other court in Apeyananga court ordered notice. You should leave this place within this time. Here are you kufanyika. It's all because they are defying court orders. They are going against the court ruling. Now tell me, where are we heading to? CJ Mother Kome, he has been speaking, talking about having an audience with Ruto. Which kind of audience uh, is she seeking for with Ruto? That's a question the Azmiya side is asking. To negotiate on which case he should allow Ruto to have his way or what now you can see a clear person in the position of influence and power now becoming should I say wrong just making his own decision and you know now the lady that he is, he is acting on her favor is someone who was a classmate him who you were someone I should imagine so it can go to an extent whereby you allow someone to lose, lose his or her property in favor of someone who was your classmate utapata hata mpango mzima pale sababu tumesikia kule wasingishu and i shared one year ago a story from a widow who was being forced to to evacuate her property achukue pesa either anunua kwingine ama amesha cha lazima lakini zile habari zilikuwa zimetokezea kule zilikuwa ya kwamba allegation eh that Ruto is removing people from that uh, the neighbors you pay them to go and buy land somewhere or you buy land from them somewhere else and you move them to those that area wahame so that we might enough space there. Akuwe na shamba kubwa. Okay, if you agree with people, there's no problem. But the problem is, those who do not want to move, then you use force. Utapata, kama kutin is the same village kule ruta natoka. Utapata, the person who is pushing for this, at the end of the day, huyo manamuke alapa kusumbuliwa, then shamba, ruto, achukue, sababu yende wanasema na unua shamba akiru. So neither what? It's either you take money or you are forced out. It can be that. Because then, how do you just wake up and disrespect court orders? The court made a ruling. Like you know, I want to defy those rulings and orders unless you have personal interest in that. So, when you want to say that they were in the same school, they were classmates, you'll find the story is different. Labda, the owner of this land might have refused to sell it to the person who is buying. Naninad, Ruth, who are now in neighborhood. Sababu Mekata, you are being frustrated, forcefully evicted, for you to surrender that property. Uwane, nitaendelea kuumia na hizi shida zote na mateso, shababu ya shamba, then let me just surrender it, anipe pesa ama anipe kwengine. That's a story that might also be true. So, tell me, if we have a president who is leading his allies in disrespecting court orders, what kind of message is the president sending to the people that he's leading? Mwishimua Ruto, analeta ile hali ya anaki. 
Because now people will learn that we can as well disrespect court orders. And when it reaches that level where everyone can disrespect court orders, tell me if you are not in a banana republic. Ruto was given the constitution. He swore in the constitution to protect all Kenyans and to lead and govern by the constitution. The constitution needs to, to, to help Ruto govern the country. The sword that was given, it was to protect Kenyans against the outsiders. But now, he has decided to put the condition aside. He's leading by the sword. This sword that was given to Kenya, it was given to Kenya. The opposite is working now. So tell me, if this will continue, Will Ruto have a country to govern? If you disrespect the law and rule, the rule of law, what are you telling Kenyans? Should they do the same? And what if they do the same? Utakuna ongoza na na kivipi kwanja ipi. This is just the beginning of anarchy in this country. And those who are leading this anarchy, they are Ruto Mwenyewe, the people behind the Mepeana order. And people like Oscar Sudi. Ikifika hapo, unajua sasa itakuwa ya kwamba you are an anarchist. 